going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 23 ultimate team video in today's video we're going to talk about the big change to ability points coming to mutt 23 tomorrow and some good players that you're going to need to construct your team now if you guys enjoy this video if you like it if it helps you out make sure to go ahead and click that thumbs up button shows a lot of support on the channel helps the videos get noticed also if you're brand new here you were searching around youtube for mutt 23 content whether it's how to make coins how to get free players how to build your ultimate team you found the right channel for everything stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it so if you missed the news earlier this morning on gmm ea came out and said starting tomorrow tomorrow being thursday may 4th that the ability point limit on offense is going to drop down to six and the same thing on defense so we're going from 12 down to six which i personally think is a pretty drastic change i'm okay with them lowering the limit but I think 10 or 9, somewhere around there, even 8 would have been a little bit more and better of a compromise. Now, it's getting a lot of negative feedback so far. I put out a poll over on my Twitter account, and the votes are pretty lopsided, as in people do not like this change. They did say they would be monitoring this feedback, so I wouldn't be surprised if they maybe bump it from 6 to 7, 8, 9, somewhere around there, a little bit more in the middle from the 12 to 6 range. But the purpose of this video, what we're going to do here, and this is going to be a website you should already be using, but if not, bookmark it right now, mutt.gg. They have two great things on this website, amongst many other things, uh, that you're going to want to use over the next couple days to start constructing your team, because you're going to need to find the good abilities and the good abilities for 08p so if we look at the entire menu here there's an ability tier list which i use often and it basically helps you out telling you like what are the best abilities in the game and then there's also an entire list on free abilities it goes through every ability and all the players that get it for 08p which when you only got six on offense and six on defense you're going to need a lot of 08p ability players so i want to talk about the popular and best abilities in the game and players and, and things that you're going to need to target so if you run a lot of man coverage or a lot of zone coverage you're really going to need to focus on either deep out zone ko players that get zero ap deep out zone ko or deep route ko players that get it for zero ap so we're going to speci uh, specifically start with the defense and there's not a ton of them out there so you're probably going to see players and i think this is kind of already happening let me just click on his name real quick so no he's not really changing in price but i assume that you're going to see players like a charles woodson um richard sherman who just came out last weekend Players who get deep out zone KO for zero AP probably go up in price. What I would likely try to do is, is construct my secondary with as many players that can get that for zero AP as possible. So my two starting cornerbacks could definitely now be Richard Sherman and Charles Woodson just going deep out zone KO for zero AP on both, and that's it. If you run a lot of man, there's really like two, three options. Emmanuel Forbes, Christian Gonzalez, Deontay Banks, which are all 97 overall NFL rookie cards that came out last Thursday. Uh, they get deep route KO for zero AP if you're running a lot of man and in some situations you're just going to have to take that one ap hit um on defense as well i'm very curious to see how this all plays out but you have these abilities these x factors that can light up at the start of a game i'm trying to find them on this list here the unstoppable force for furious george Groot, maniac milkman tank i personally still think for one ap even out of a six limit those are going to be worth it so if you take one ap on each of your defense of ends regardless of the player that you have uh, you might see some players out there without secure protector or edge protector on their left and right tackles which would be an incredibly stupid move I don't want you guys to do that but you might catch people slip in that way and if you still have those uh, I think that's going to be a really a, a huge thing to still getting pressure and pass rush within the game you're going to want to look for players who get double or nothing for zero AP edge threat elite for zero AP to try to generate some type of pass rush but I think overall on defense, um, you know, Acrobat for 0 AP is still going to be great. Pick Artist for 0 AP, almost every defensive back in the game has it. I wouldn't waste any AP on film study at this point or inside shade. I don't think anybody gets it for zero. Cromarty for one might be worth it, but still probably not. I just think on defense, it's still going to be all about the knockout abilities, and that's why I kind of focus on those first. Also, you know, Tackle Supreme and Secure Tackler have been uh, kind of my go-to and favorite ability 
opportunities as of late because of all of the AKA X Factor running backs out there. Um, I don't see anybody using Quadfather anymore because that's three of the six AP uh, that you need, and that's really going to leave you like your offensive line won't be as good anymore unless you run the ball 99% of the time. So I think you can dial back, and again, it's going to be a testing phase here, right? We're going to see what people are doing and what people are using. We're definitely going to drop individual videos on offense and defense going over the best players and abilities specifically. Again, I just want to see how things play out out and if EA kind of changes things more so wanted to talk about it but uh, I don't think you see as much quad father which means you're going to be able to dial back on secure tackler and tackle supremes if you happen to be using those now with Gus the bus the phenom uh, King Henry freight train those are all one AP abilities I wouldn't be surprised if you still see people using them in fact you know I have Cordero Patterson on my no money spent squad with the flash ability and for one out of six, uh, you know, I, I think that's going to be worth it. The biggest shakeup is going to be at quarterback. And there's basically, I would say, three, maybe four quarterbacks. Yeah, probably four that people are going to use. I'm just going to click fearless to talk about him. Uh, number one is Aaron Rodgers. So his price is up to almost, it was it was over two million. It's in the high 1.1 millions. You can see how much it's gone up in price. And this is because he gets fearless. He gets hot route master, set feet lead, and gunslinger for a total of two AP. So that's still a really good viable option at quarterback. The other quarterbacks are gonna be useful are gonna be Tim Tebow, which I think it's that same combination for three AP. I think Montana does as well. Uh, Justin Herbert with the game changer token gets the four stack for three AP. And then Steve McNair, I think gets it for three. I'm not 100% sure on that one. I can't fully remember. I'm just kind of clicking all over the place here. He can get gunslinger or fearless for zero. Hot route would be one set feet lead would be two and then you would want to go fearless for three so yeah he can get it for three ap and you know that's going to be half of your abilities out there um but quarterback's the most important position uh, of your team now as far as wide receivers go I mean, really, I would be looking for guys who get short in elite or short out elite for zero AP. CD Lamb Game Changer obviously is going to be one of the biggest and, and most popular cards. And because he was an LTD at the time, is probably going to go up in price. Um, Randy Moss for sure. I wouldn't be surprised if he starts to skyrocket because he can get deep out elite and short out elite or short in elite for a total of one AP. No, actually zero AP. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place here. Yeah, he gets he gets deep out baked in because it's on the card, and then you can still get short out for zero. And, and to put that on your, your receiver and not spend any ability points with attributes that Randy Moss has, like that's huge. So CD Lamb, uh, Randy Moss, and then, you know, there's so many receivers now that get short out, short in, route tech, all for zero AP. There's just not a lot of guys that get double for zero AP. So you're going to have to kind of focus on one or the other. I would slay your, you say your outside receivers, short out or deep out are the go-tos. Your slot receiver is going to be short in. Same thing with running backs. If you like to pass the ball, and again, I apologize. I'm all over the place. I don't think my screen is on even what I'm talking about. Route tech has been pretty good for me lately, but I think if you're going to go short in or short out, then route tech is, I don't want to say useless, but it's just not going to be affordable with only a six AP limit, especially if you're spending at most, most likely three AP, half of your AP on the quarterback position uh you still have to focus on your offensive line and without a doubt secure protector okay is you know the best offensive line ability there's ryan ramchek which came out yesterday right tackle that gets it for zero ap larry allen right guard that gets it for zero ap the john madden left tackle uh, i wouldn't be surprised if that starts to go up in price because he gets that for zero ap and threat detector for one ap and really take a look at like Darnell Wright, uh, Broderick Jones, Peter Skaronsky. I think I keep saying that wrong. Maybe I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised if these cards go up in price because that's a left tackle, right tackle, and left guard that all get secure protector for zero AP. You're also going to take a look at guys who get edge protector for zero AP. So if you can't afford or find secure protectors at your left and right tackle for zero AP, uh, you're going to need to at least have edge protector for zero AP. So take a look at those guys as well. Um, um, but I think there's going to be more importance on your tackles 
probably less importance on the guards and in center uh, for the offensive line abilities now that you're only limited to six. And for running backs, again, we talked about the X factors. Uh, look for Tank and Bruiser for zero AP. Uh, look for Short and Elite if you like to pass the ball a lot. And you can still use this resource here, Free Ability Players. I was kind of going over the more important abilities, uh, but if you click Free Ability Players, this will give you a rundown of every single ability in the game. Acrobat, these are all the players that get it for zero AP. All day, Armbar, Bogo, which is not a good one. I'm just using these uh, for reference here. So, you know, we'll, we'll break it down on offense and defense, but change is coming. Again, I would not be surprised if EA changes what they've already changed and say uh, the limit's going to go up to eight or nine, somewhere around there, I think is a little bit more feasible. But, you know, you're probably going to see some prices rise on some of the popular cards that we just discussed because of all of those discounted abilities. And we'll play around with stuff tomorrow. We'll figure out what the best combinations are. But get ready because change is coming. Thank you guys for watching this video. My name is Popular Stranger and I'm out. Peace.